Hi Donna, how are you? <clears throat> Kakumbi, hi, good evening, how are you guys? I just came to chat a little bit about the protest in Masala, you know. It's uh, it's really sad that, you know, our local government, they are giving away all our property, all our land to foreigners. You know, it's, it's really, really sad what's happening. I just saw protesters in Masala market. In the morning, they go to a market, to the market, and they found that some of the land a area where the local people were selling their produce had been fenced off and the properties sold to a foreign a foreigner so this is a problem that we are facing guys it's a problem it's a problem the local government they are selling all our properties zambia is literally being sold for foreigners to invest at the expense of the local people and i'm here to condemn it it's like you know what people are protesting right now it is not right what is happening why are we allowing foreigners to prosper in our own country at the expense of our local people in small small businesses good evening clarence you know we want investors but we want investors to invest big money these investors are taking away livelihood of our people you know selling small small things that our people are selling to survive our local zambians you know they thrive this is how they end their living selling produce at the market so why is our city councils giving licenses permits to foreigners to do in small businesses it's a problem guys Good evening, Raggy. Good to see you. So, yeah, so we are here, guys. We are not happy. Myself, I'm not happy what's going on. It's like everywhere we go, people are complaining, you know. Kakumbi, where is Honorable Nkombo? Yes, give us answers, you know. We have heard the Black Mountain in Kitwe is an Indian woman who owns it. Why can't a Zambian woman own the rights to that Black Mountain in Kitwe? Why? Yeah? So there are no Zambian women who, who, have, who have money and a business mind to run that Black Mountain? It's wrong. You know? We are tired. Me, I came just here to say we are tired of being abused. You know? We, we, we as Zambian, there are Zambian people there who can do those businesses. But why are we not empowering our own people in Zambia? Why? That is my question, guys. Comments below. Let's talk. I know it's not many of us, but you know, people can watch this video later when they have time. It's just wrong. Like we as a country, we have we are now empowering foreigners to to be selling tomatoes and onions and small things which our own Zambians should be doing. We are giving that business to foreigners, and when these foreigners come in, they have a lot of buying power. They take away the business from the local people. And the local people, it kills businesses of the local people. John Lemba, I love you too. Peter Chitambo, I see you from Undola Itawa. Best well, I see you too, guys. I think we have to speak up. We cannot uh, continue this to have, allowing this to happen. We voted for change. We want to take control. We want to be empowered. There are no jobs, but even in a market where people are going to trade, they are putting foreigners with money and putting the local people out of business. It is wrong. It is wrong. You know, there is chaos in Masala. There are people were almost rioting. They were breaking down things. But this is happening all over. Even in Lusaka, there in Kamwala, it's full of foreigners doing businesses there 
You mean so they cannot empower Zambians to run those businesses in Kamwala or in the market? It has to be foreigners? No. We say no to that. Donald Wano. Yes, it's disappointing. You know, we fought to change me. I fought personally to change this government so that we can improve lives of our people. But what is happening? Hmm? What is happening? It's like we just changed the president and everything is the same down there. Like a, a few days ago, I was talking to someone, you know, I, I always tell you that I'm a retiree. And you know what? Some of these things is actually the civil servants, these local workers in these offices, they are the criminals. It's not even the politicians. I know we, we talk about politicians to say politicians, they steal. But these government workers in these offices are the culprits. You know, it's not even about a government. What has a government got to do with giving land to, to, uh, to a foreign at Masala market? It is some council official there at Indola City Council who is corrupt. It's not even the government. Now, the problem is when anything happens, we point a finger to the government. It's not the government. Some of these things is not the government. It's the people in these offices who are doing these deals. I'll tell you like myself, I tell you that I'm a retiree. You know what? There is a rumor that our money was released. I'm a voluntary separatee. I am a voluntary separatee, but there is a rumor which is saying that our money was released from Ministry of Finance and the money went to the department. I don't know if it's the Ministry of Finance in the accountants there to disperse the funds. The rumor is that those accountants there created the fake a retirees and the money our money which was supposed to be paid to the real people went to ghost pensioners so actually it's not even the politicians it's the civil servants in these offices who are thieves and misbehaving and stealing all this money making making bad decisions eh? and these the bad decisions they are you know reflecting on the government and we always talk about politicians it's not politicians it's these government workers in these offices who are stealing. And these city councils, they need to be cleaned out. All these civil servants in these offices, Minister of Finance, they need to clean out these offices. It's not the government. It's the workers in these offices who are making bad decisions. We just need the whole system overhaul. We are quick to blame the government. Is the government UPND? No. UPND, these MPs who just were elected in office, they didn't change all these people in these offices. It's the, actually our families, our friends in these offices who are corrupt. Everywhere. They are making their, you know what, they are selling their country for a few pieces of gold. All the land in Zambia is sold. Is it a politician who sold the land? It's a city council official there. At Kalawo City Council. At Indola City Council. So, you know, what is just disappointing to say the greed that uh, some people have in these offices is what is killing Zambia. It's not even the government. It's the greed. These people in offices... They are greedy and they are selling our country for a few pieces of silver. You know, I don't know. I, I don't know what we need to do to clean up the country. But you know what? All our city councils, they are contaminated. They are selling land which they should not be selling. Anyway, I'll talk to you soon, guys. I'm not staying here long. Thank you.